Hi right, guys, welcome back to another edition of MHI's Roundtable Discussion. I'm here joined today as usual by my brother Carlos, our own Dr. Rudy Everwine, and today we have the pleasure and honor of being joined by Dr. David Minkoff. And please excuse me if I read as Dr. David Minkoff's list of accomplishment and contributions are extensive. So I wanna make sure we don't leave anything out. And by the way, Doc, sorry if this is a little embarrassing as we know you're a humble and noble being and you're not the, one, you're not the type to brag. <laughs> so allow me to do the bragging for you. Yes. <laughs> so Dr. David Minkoff is the co-founder of LifeWorks Wellness Center, one of the biggest alternative medical clinics in the United States located in Clearwater, Florida. He has spent roughly 48 years practicing infectious disease, biological medicine, integrative oncology, heavy metal detoxification, hormone optimization, functional medicine, and optimal nutrition, among many others. And as if that wasn't enough, Dr. David Minkoff is also, also the author of the best-selling Amazon book called The Search for the Perfect Protein. He's also the founder of a nutritional company founded in 2000 called Body Health, which has created fantastic products, one of them being Perfect Amino, which is how we met in the first place, and one of the subjects we'll be covering shortly today. And the last thing I would like to say about Dr. David Minkoff, aside from being one of our favorite optimization docs ever, is that he's in his 70s, has competed in 43 Ironman competitions, and is an eight-time world champ qualifier. I mean, what's not to love and like about this man? So, Doc, thank you for inviting and for meeting us today. We truly appreciate it. Thank you. You're welcome. Man, Dr. Minkoff, this is so impressive. Like all that list, my God, this is great. We're in the presence of greatness. So thank you for having us here today, okay. seriously. Yeah, and just as a personal kind of uh, story, the way that we met a few years back, you know, uh, I watched your uh, podcast with Jay, who's a friend of ours, and you know, I was watching, hearing you, and I said, hey, I'm gonna buy this guy's book. Um, you know, I read it and man, I mean, I could hardly put the book down. And you know, I'm someone, you know, collectively we've read, hundreds of books on nutrition and fitness and put ourselves through every kind of diet regimen that you can think of. And it took me about 36 hours to read it. It was so exciting. Uh, and when I put it down, I just, the first feeling that overcame me is like, man, I've been lied to all my life, you know? And then I said, uh, <laughs> I gotta get to this guy. It took me a couple months to work through your staff uh, and you were gracious <laughs> enough to, to pick up the call and, and take our call. And, you know, one of the things that, I mean, I've been using your product, Perfect Amino, for three years and I have not missed a day. Um, incredible results personally for me uh, and for hundreds of our patients. And so one of the things that we wanted to get into today is, is talk, you know, and kind of hear it from the horse's mouth, right? Um, and, and talk a little bit about the importance of amino acids, uh, not, not only just in today's world, but as a whole right, for nutrition and optimization and well-being, and talk a little bit about the difference of the utilization of amino acids and how important that is in terms of the absorption rates. That's one of the things that I learned in your book, the difference of absorption rates in terms of protein, right, which is one of our, our most essential substances for life. Good. <laughs> so if you talk to an average dietitian, they'll tell you that there's three macronutrients so there's proteins, carbs, right, fats, okay. right. and then you see this, you need a certain percentage of each one to meet your daily requirements. Right. And there's vitamins and minerals and water and calories. And if you do all that just perfectly, you'll be okay. Right. I think the most important thing though, is that the macronutrient that's the most important is protein. Mm -hmm. Now we don't really have a protein amount that we need every day. Because proteins are made of smaller things right. called amino acids. And we actually have an amino acid requirement every day. Right. Because the body breaks down the proteins. You eat a steak or you eat some eggs or you have some fish. And it breaks those down into smaller units called amino acids. And those amino acids get absorbed. And then our body makes our own proteins out of cow proteins or fish proteins mm -hmm. or soybean proteins. You know, right. whatever the person's eating. So we have a... We have a protein requirement. And if you don't get that protein requirement, your body is going to break down. Right. Now, our bodies need about 300 grams of protein per day to keep up. Right. Now, we don't have to eat 300 grams of protein per day, 
but we need to be able to get it in mm -hmm. enough so that some of our proteins are recycled. Right. And then we have to make up the difference. So if you can recycle 150, then you still need 150 coming in. Right. Now, with aging, the ability to recycle goes down. Mm -hmm. So you see some of these children are eating, you know, Cheez-Its and white bread and maybe one slice of bologna, right. but they grow because they recycle really well, mm -hmm. mm. okay? 60 year olds, they don't recycle very well at all. Right. So that as you grow, your protein requirement probably goes, goes up. up. Plus your digestion isn't as good, so you lose there. Plus a lot of people are on medication that blocks stomach acid, and so you lose there. And so this is a really important thing, because if you look at your average 20 year old, and then you look at your average 60 year old, the six-year-old has lost about 25 or 30% of their lean body mass. This is protein. Yep. So it's bone and it's muscle. And we know that people who lose bone, get osteoporosis, fall down, break their hip. Mm -hmm. They have a 50% of being dead in a year because it's a very devastating thing for a 65-year-old person to fall down, break their hip, and then all kinds of other stuff goes wrong. Right. Okay. Plus, they lose their muscle and they lose their enzymes and their health goes down. So we have to concentrate people and we have to orient people. Like you have a daily protein requirement. Right. And our muscles are really what we have to preserve. Mm -hmm. So like you guys are doing a really good job on the muscles. <laughs> the, my amino acids, I take them daily. Yeah, <laughs> twice a day. <laughs> and most people aren't doing enough for their muscles right. and they're not supporting their muscles and they're not eating enough protein so that they can keep their muscles. Because if you've got a functioning brain and good muscles, you're going to make it old age and you're going to be okay. Because right. a lot of the glucose metabolism, half the people now have trouble with glucose metabolism. If you've got muscles, they can metabolize the glucose and you can handle your blood sugar. Right. So, you know, your average person needs probably a gram per, per pound of per body pound weight body. Right. of protein. Right. Now, almost nobody eats that much. It's right. an enormous amount of food. It's an enormous amount yeah, of food. Know, and if you're trying to do it intermittent fast, Right. You know, you're trying to eat all your food in a 16-hour window. You can't eat 150 can't. grams of protein. No, you can't. So let's say, so like I have, I don't and eat. Now, excuse me, so just so I understand. Yeah. So even if you got 300 grams of protein, right? I mean, because of the absorption rates, we lose so much in that absorption. That's right. right? Yeah, so then, so then we would have to even eat even more protein. That's to right. To kind of get a net effect, right? That's right. Yeah. And of course, all proteins aren't equal. Right, and it's unsustainable. So let's say if oh. you have lunch at noon and you yeah. finish dinner by six or seven. Yeah. So you got you know 16 hours or 18 hours of an intermittent fast. Right. Okay. So you have uh, you you have you, so you need 75 grams of for lunch and 75 grams for dinner. That's a lot. You need, you're not <laughs> going to eat lot. that much. That's a lot. I mean, 75 grams of protein is what 20 eggs. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I can't eat 20 eggs. No way. Okay or a gigantic piece of meat, you can't do it. No. So one of the things with Perfect Amino is, if you're eating protein, which you should, mm -hmm. you can add Perfect Amino because a, a two scoops of Perfect Amino is worth 30 grams of meat, fish, or eggs. Right. So if I have two scoops of Perfect Amino in the morning, Okay, I've already got 30 grams in the bank of protein. Right. right. And then I have some eggs, or I have some steak, or I have some chicken. And then I have another two servings of, per, you know, 10 grams of perfect amino, two mm -hmm. scoops or 10 tablets. I got another 60 grams of pro, or not 30 yeah, grams yeah, yeah. of protein. So now I can, I can make my daily requirement easier without eating, yeah. you know, 5,000 calories a yeah, day and, and it's just gonna make me fat. And, and I can tell you, me personally, especially, you know, intermittent fasting is, I mean, the, the evidence on it is, is great. Um, and for me, it makes it so much easier to fast. And you know, we're fitness guys, right? So it's the typical male thing, oh, I'm gonna lose muscle, I mean, you know, I need enough protein. And it makes it so much easier to maintain muscle without having, you know, gas or having, you know, distended bellies or, or even, you know, irritable bowel syndrome from consuming so much protein. So it makes it a lot easier for people, I think, to sustain weight and live a healthy life. So I, I think it's amazing. Right. I think you had a question. And hold, hold, let me, uh, one point that I had is, when I started my my typical practice, you know, we don't really learn that in, in conventional medical school. Right. Um, we don't get anything about nutrition, mm -hmm. and nutrition is really is the 
the, the, the most important uh, component of wellness. And we don't get it. We all had to study that outside of our traditional training. And, and when, when you look at guys like this with amazing muscles and, and, you know, our practice, a lot of guys are even like they see those guys and they'll get intimidated. They're like, I'll never get results like this. But my, my, my big thing is trying to make people understand how important muscle is. Muscle is not just to look good right. or to look good at the gym, to, to be without a shirt. We live in Miami. We all want to be like this. But really, it's the utilization of glucose that it does. Yep. It is the functionality. Yep. To me, one, um, muscle strength, grip strength, has been one of the independent predictors yep. of mortality as yep. we age. Yep. Um, frailty for elderly. Yep. So to me, muscle, and for us doing testosterone, the combination of the right amount of protein mm -hmm. with the amino acids and the right hormones to help you build, to help you use those building blocks. So not just to look good, of course, looking good is great, yeah. but also to prolong life, have a better life, yeah. better health span. So yeah. that was, when I made that click, to yeah. be like, it's not just about building muscles, just to build muscles. Right. It's about longevity and health span. Yeah, yeah. functionality. Yeah. Yeah. We, that we like to tell, what we like to tell a lot our patients is that most people think that you need protein to just to make and maintain muscle, right? Yeah. But it's actually necessary to make muscle to make uh, skin cells, to make your digestive enzymes, which are based off protein, your thyroid, thyroxine, correct? Yep. Growth hormone, yep. your antibodies. I mean, we're a protein producing machine. So yeah. we need protein for pretty much everything. Yeah. One question that I did have, actually it's like four part question. Okay. <laughs> so I think this is very important and very practical for everybody that's listening. So I, I heard you mention in a talk with uh, Dr. Frank, talking about perfect amino, uh, a USC study done on lean body mass, which people, uh, men from 20 to 60 years of age can lose any from 20 to 30% uh, percent of their lean body mass tissue. Yes. What would, why would a 20 year old be losing muscle like that is my question. That's number one. Well, if you compared a guy at 20 and did a, did a, a DEXA scan on him, okay. so you knew how much lean body mass he had, Right. And then you just age forward him 40 years. He's going to lose 25 to 30 percent of what he had when he was 20. This is these are right. the averages. Okay. And the and the reason he's losing it are these reasons like he's not getting enough protein. He's not utilizing his muscles. He's not digesting the protein. And so he's going down and he's not able to recycle his protein. Right. And so what you find you know, in a young person, the gut cells turn over every three or four days. You get a new clean lining. Right. You know, you get a cut. The cut heals quickly. But if you don't have enough amino acids, enough proteins, all that slows down and you start to lose it. So now if the gut turns over every eight to 10 days or the wound takes three weeks to heal instead of one week to heal, these all have a big impact and the, the you know bones turn over all these tissues turn over right and if you don't remake the proteins you're gonna you lose it right. and so people get frail and frailty is a is huge. is a huge risk factor right. mm -hmm. all the neurotransmitter system yeah. is based. based on amino acids yeah and so there's a clinic in hawaii who uh the doctor has a a, a place where people who can no longer take care of themselves go there to live because they can't do their daily body care. They can't make food. They have trouble getting around. He started using Perfect Amino in his clinic. And he found that about 30% of the people within two months regained their functionality. Wow. They were able to leave the clinic and go home because their thinking was better, their strength got better, and they could perform better. Right. And we do amino acid panels on everyone that comes in the clinic. Right. And 80 to 90% of people have massive deficiencies in their serum amino acids. They aren't getting what they need. Mm -hmm. And so then their bodies don't function right. Yeah, you know, I, in, our, in our practice, I find that the people that are sort of, I don't want to label them, but kind of like been living an unhealthy lifestyle for a longer period of time than most. Yeah. I mean, the, the reaction is, I mean, three weeks in, you know, you make the three week phone call and it's like, oh my God, I feel so much better. Yeah. I mean, it's a combination of things, right? But yeah. we always call it the Robin to the Batman to what we do, right? <laughs> so I think, yeah. I think it's, I think it's amazing. And uh, so thank you for your contribution in, in that way. And okay. you, your, your book was exceptional <laughs> in understanding it. So for, for those of you who want to understand the importance of amino acids, you know, you're hearing it from Dr. Minkoff, but read the book. It's short and it reads like a, like a novel is so interesting. 
Um, so, so one of the things that we always get from our patients is when, when we tell them, um, they come to us and then we, we're, we're counseling them and the importance of nutrition, of, of getting the right protein, the right amino acids, you'll always hear them. Well, I take whey protein. I take BCAAs. Mm -hmm. I, I take all of those. And for them, um, it, they think it's enough. So tell us the difference between the perfect Very amino cool. versus the whey protein, BCAAs and, and all of those. Optimizing your health is only a scan away. Select the QR code that fits your profile best, and we look forward to hearing from you at the Medical Health Institute.